I'm sorry when I've just gone through the motions. I'm sorry when I just sang another song. Take me back to where we started. I open up my heart to you. I'm sorry when I've come with my agenda. I'm sorry when I forgot that you're enough. Take me back. about Jesus going off alone to pray. And in Mark chapter 1, verse 35, he writes, Before daybreak the next morning, Jesus got up and went out to an isolated place to pray. Now, in this particular passage, Jesus gets up early. Other times it was when everyone else had either fallen asleep or it was in the middle of the night. And sometimes it was even in the middle of a, a big task. Jesus would choose to wander off alone to be with his Father and pray. Now, sometimes I like to picture what those moments for Jesus were like, the intentionality, the intimacy, alone, in the quiet, no noise, away from the crowds, whether it was in the wilderness or at the top of a mountain, in the middle of the night, or man, just as the sun was rising, Jesus there, sitting there, fully in the presence of his Father. Man, for me, my time in Kenya has always been that place where I have distinctly felt I was in the presence of God. I was away from everyday life, no distractions, no busy, no busy noise. I, I felt so close to God and so vulnerable and so alive in those moments. And I'd find myself writing over and over again, I need to bring this back home. I need to find this space. How do I find this space? Now, I can't obviously fly across the world every time I want to seek out those moments with God, but I can choose and fight to make that time and that space a priority. And so personally for me, I resonate with the early rising Jesus. We're early risers in our house. And so for me, my space is in our living room on the couch, um, usually with a cup of coffee in hand and a blanket. And it's my time where I can focus and I can read and I can pray and I can be sensitive to the Holy Spirit and what God has for me in that moment. 
listen, I know that finding time, let alone quiet, in a busy uh, life and culture is, it can be hard. And, but you have to fight for it. You have to choose it. Jesus made time alone with God a priority. His intentionality and intimate relationship with his father was the source of his compassion, his wisdom, and his power. God wants that for us. God wants us to know and learn to understand that he is all we need, that he desires an intimate relationship with each one of us, just like Jesus did. Let me pray for us. Heavenly Father, may we find space today, even today, to get caught up in your presence, to fully feel and know you intimately, that you love us and that you are truly, truly all that we need. Father, we love you so much and we pray all this in Jesus' name, amen.